Oh, hi. <laughs> Chris here. You know, I'm taking a moment or two just to kind of look at my emails. Well, emails and requests that I've gotten through my YouTube account. Uh, and I've noticed that there is at least one gaping hole in uh, the tutorial requests that I've had over the past weeks. Yowza. Even months. And I feel kind of guilty about that. So today I'm going to try to stop and take a moment to focus on that. The topic is that of practice. Um, some of the questions I commonly get are, uh, how do I go about structuring a practice session? Uh, what do you do if you don't have a cool practice space? Um, oh, this is a good one. How do you keep yourself motivated? And look, these are all great questions that I'd love to address, and I must say up front, I feel a little guilty, I feel a little uh, maybe perhaps even unqualified to answer them as if I'm any kind of expert. So what I'd like to do instead is kind of give you my responses to some of these common questions and then kind of open this up as an opportunity for all of you fine people to post some great uh, video responses about that. I must say, there's no way that I can really go through all the emails that I have and really hope to kind of hit them all in just a, like a nice little tidy seven minute video. So I have an assistant who is uh, going to kind of help me with that. Hey Chris, uh, I got the first of those questions. Uh, I'll just put it right here. All right, see you later. Okay, bye. Yeah, so that's my assistant. And um, yeah, I guess he'll just kind of get this uh, whole thing kicked off. time you might have in a given day, from 30 minutes to as much as two hours, do you have any kind of common way that you structure your practice sessions, or is it kind of, I like this word, is it more of just like a free-for-all, do whatever you want? I guess that yes, in fact, I do actually have a, a common way that I go about structuring any practice session, whether that session does last a kind of a short little half an hour or as much as my favorite practice times, Sunday mornings when I can actually get out there for two or maybe even three hours. I guess as I think about it, uh, my practice sessions tend to have kind of three different chunks to them. Uh, each chunk varies in its length of time, but as I kind of think about what I'm going to do when I come into this practice space, I tend to think about it uh, first in this way. My first chunk of time I'll spend basically just getting my body warmed up. And by that I mean I'll stretch out my neck and my shoulders, kind of rotate them around, get my elbows warmed up, stretch my spine a little bit, um, you know, make sure that I do some, you know, bend over exercises so that I can kind of stretch my hamstrings because frankly I'll be dropping a lot. Uh, but I, I think it's really, really important to get my body kind of limbered up for at least uh, probably five minutes or so. Uh, I have uh, usually do some wrist stretching exercises along the way. Um, in fact, uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link uh, right here on this video to show you that particular uh, wrist stretching exercise video if that has any interest to you. Uh, after that, then I have probably a good, usually 10, maybe 15 minutes worth of the second chunk of my practice. And during that time, I'm again warming up. This time I'm doing it with props. Um, I'm not really working on any one particular skill or any one particular trick. Instead what I'm doing is I'm kind of getting my, my brain and my body ready for the fact that uh, I'll be you know, practicing more intently uh, in the last section of time. I'm just kind of like playing around with the, with the props, kind of uh, freewheeling it. 
you know, I might do some underhand tosses followed by overhead tosses, uh, under the leg with back crosses. Uh, if I'm working with rings, I might try some uh, moves that I haven't ever done before. Not again to try to nail new techniques or try to nail some, some new moves, but really just to kind of see if anything cool or clever or creative comes out of just this fooling around. And if anything does come up that looks kind of interesting, then uh, usually I'll write that down in a book and consider going back to that perhaps to explore more thoroughly at a later time. That leads then to the third chunk of time, which for me in a practice session is typically, frankly, the longer portion of time that I will spend. And that's when I focus on whatever particular goal or goals I have set in my mind to accomplish as I came to practice that particular day. If I have only, say, half an hour to practice, probably 15 minutes of that practice will be this third chunk of time. If I have two hours to practice, probably a good hour and a half, maybe even hour and 40 minutes will be this third chunk of time. Your next question, I believe it is a follow-up. Excellent. Uh, during that warm-up time that you talked about, do you ever spend any amount of time warming up with, say, a certain number of throws with a certain prop? Uh, in other words, do you always make sure you do at least 500 catches of five balls or warm up with at least 100 catches of five clubs or something like that. Uh, no, I don't. I'm sure others uh, of you out there maybe do perhaps do that. But for me, uh, no, I'd rather spend, as I said, kind of that 10 minute chunk of time in the second part of my practice session just kind of freewheeling it. Um, that's a lot more satisfying to me and still serves the purpose of getting my body warmed up. Good question.